na 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 Hey, vaccine na mi anida Oy, a mi anida See, I'm calling And I'm falling for you Stop fronting Hey This is a part Hey This is a part I'm supposed to be like um, You know, be your BGV, but I, I all I do is croak. It's okay. It'd be like it, it can be a drop like yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> it can surprise us. That would be terrible. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can hear, Fena in the building right here on Fast with the Hit Straight Set Bam. Of course, if you're just locking in, I've been telling you, Fena always has to pass by 95.3 in Nairobi. Shout out to everybody who's listening online as well. Fena, have I seen you this year? I don't think so. I feel like it's been a while. And Seven. the last time I was here was Pussy Bow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, 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 that's last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's been, uh, I mean, Seven, what, what, July, seven months you haven't been to Trace. That's oh, bad. Yeah, that's bad. We're doing badly. How have you been? I've been good. Mm -hmm. I've been busy. Busy? Yeah, busy is good. Yeah? Yeah, and I'm alive. I'm happy. I'm blessed. First and foremost, congratulations. I see your face on the Matatu. Who oh. do you have to talk to? Um, you just have to have a 13 year career in music. Okay, okay. 13 years. Like, how's that? How's that feeling? Like, seeing your. You know, like, how, I ask you in this regard, right? Uh -huh. You know, like, um, we come from a Matatu heavy culture. Yeah. You know, remember, remember, like, 2358, yep. Mats for South Sea, uh, Langata, all of those, with all of that different, like, what do you call it? Um, you know, art and all of that. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to actually see, you know, your yeah. face on it? It's surreal. Yeah? It's, what's that song for Calligraph? Um, Sauti Soul. Sauti Soul. Uh. Oh, yes, yes, you yes, know, yes. Like yes. It's hey. surreal. That's the one. Yeah. You, There's a time mm. I pandered a jav randomly. Yeah. And then I sat, um, you know, like next to the window. And then I turn and it's my face on the window. Oh! I was like, oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> like it's actually yeah. happening. It's really dope. It's dope. Yeah. Man, 13 years, I actually, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. 13 years, that's Going deep. Going into 13, yeah. Going into 13. Yeah. And um, I mean, last time you were here, you told us about you know the different seasons, Maisha Pandashuka, yes. and all of that, and how things have been, and all of that. Mm -hmm. How are you? Have you bounced back fully from all of that? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, you know, just taking the time out. Mm -hmm. um, re a lot of growth is happening. Yeah. So I think even in that mix and all that chaos, it was still towards a positive direction. Yeah. So and then you know also when you're in album mode. You really soak in everything that's happening. So last month you feature Mahali for a while. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm out of I'm back out of the the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, come on, you can't just say that and say, uh, and not give us the, the deeds. I'll go to Nairobi. Uh. Yeah, I was just camped out for months on end, writing, recording, um, finishing up my album. Okay. Yeah. So what's the vibe on this album? It's dope. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's let's let's get granular. What's the vibe on this album? Um... It's very sexy. Mm -hmm. It's very grown. Um, very it, unleashed was dope, and I was coming into myself, and this is like me fully blooming. Yeah. And you know, I'm still growing anyway, but yeah. I think it, it's just grown. Grown. Yeah, grown and sexy. Is it an album I could listen to um, with, like, with like my mom? Yes. Oh really? Oh yeah. I mean, rise up. You can listen to with your everyone. <laughs> so that should give you an idea. Yes. Um, I don't think there's anything extra PG, mm. but I do touch on like I've been through quite a lot in the last two three years since yeah. Unleashed. So there's a lot of that. The whole pandemic, you know, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You almost got right there. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff. It's a lot. Yeah. Do you go for therapy? I do. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that? Um, therapy is great to change my life. Yeah. Um, I haven't been in a session in a while, mm -hmm. but um, you know, I have the tools. Yes. Yeah, I picked up the tools to keep me keep my head straight. Straight. Yeah. I like that because you know a lot of people are always feeling some type of way, and um, you know it's usually very hard and also 
there's a lot of judgment that's passed on, especially to people who are public public figures. Yeah. When you talk about, okay, cool, um, you know, for lack of a better Mental phrase, health. when you say I was going through like this sunken place and all yeah. of that, and they're like, boss, You're what is this? You're supposed to be happy all the time. It's not yeah. that I'm unhappy at that time. It's just I'm pro I'm an artist trying to figure out my way through this season. So. Yes. And that's also part of the art anyway. And Rise Up is really just about that being having the freedom to talk about these things, mm -hmm. um, having the platform to talk about such things. Yes. So it's important that we have such conversations without stigma, without, you know, making people feel like, oh, they should just be this, you know, yeah. Do you, do you, are you one of those people who's like, um, talks to, obviously you talk to different people, but do you, do you like, when you're in that whole space, when you're writing your music and all of that, mm -hmm. do you get some of the stories and experiences your friends are going through and turn them into like, some of the words and you know notes for your songs oh yeah for sure um a lot of my music is from my experience mm. and my experience involves people around me so yeah. it's it, it is feeding off different people's energies and experiences yeah yeah now we had maids over here in the studio yesterday and we're talking about like you know being grounded and all of that mm -hmm. uh, you know um different uh you know understanding the growth and also at the same time being still the person that you know people first had this first time and they were like okay cool we like this guy yeah. have you been able to do all of that for for you know going on to the 13th year how yeah oh man i don't know if there's a how it's just if you have it in you i don't know huh. um keeping a level head just keeping it level-headed yes yeah. trying to stay sober because I mean the high is high like the highs in this industry are super high and the lows are super low yeah and if you're not careful you can lose lose yourself in between the composure the, yeah. yeah so I think how I was raised the the support system around me just helps to keep me grounded okay yeah. <laughs> That would be such a dope song to watch with a whole band. Right? Yeah, especially towards the end and all of that. Mm -hmm. That chorus is dope. I can't wait to Rise do that. up. Yo, this one's going to be the one. Yo, thank you, man. Yo, you know what I like about it? Mm -hmm. Of course, you've touched on so many uh, different issues, especially for the youth. Uh, if you listen to it and all, all that you're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Rise up, rise up. Don't sleep on that, right? And uh, I like the fact that you've actually dropped this song right around the corner to an election. And I've got to start with this. First yeah. and foremost, are you voting? Of course. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. Why I ask that is this, right? Because um, there's a lot of people who are not going to vote, right? Yeah. They've just said, you know what, we're voting for the same... Um, you know, the same guys we've been doing for over mm -hmm. and over for a while, right? So yeah. I, I sit around with a lot of um, young guys and they say that, right? So tell me, why are you voting? Because it's still my democratic right, mm. you know. Um, I don't want to not vote yes. and then either miss out on a good leader or mm -hmm. have chosen the wrong leader and have something to look back at and be like, okay, yeah. we made a mistake here. So I think it's important to vote. Very. It sucks that, yes, it's going to be the same things mm. over and over again. Yeah. But um, I don't know. We can vote in the new leaders. We can mm. vote in the young Yes. There are so many new, young... There's a lot of fresh faces. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, different ideologies and all of that. And all we can do at this point is most definitely cast our vote mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, continue to exercise democracy and hope and pray That's... that there's change. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, tell me about Rise Up. What's the whole concept about it? Um, first of all, let me big up Wodomolo Beats, mm -hmm. um, Black Jurist Director. Yes. This was actually my first um, co-direct... Um, credits. Well done, well no. done. So Learning. It's been a while. You know, on that break, I was focusing on building myself in professionally and personally. Yes. So things like co-producing the music mm. on this coming album. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Rise Up, I think, was the best way for me to kick off the road to my next album. Yes. It's sober. It's timely. It's mm. speaking on things that we're experiencing every day. So I felt like it was a strong start to the releases. To the releases. Yeah. So how many how many songs on the album? I'll tell you soon. Uh, no, no, no. Listen. <laughs> Here's the thing. This, no. This, I'm not telling you guys this, nothing. This is the show where you come and you drop some hints. I'll come then and you drop can hints. follow up. 
<laughs> no, but but here's the I've thing. I've already dropped the fact that it's an album. Project, it's an album. Right? Okay, cool. So, let's uh, tweak it, right? Okay. So, don't tell me how many trucks. Okay. Release date, around when? No, I'm not giving you that either. So, what are you going to give me? I'm giving you Rise Up, the first single. And yeah. Then I'm giving you the hashtag, Road to L-A-L. L-A-L. So, we're going to be picking hints and uh -huh. clues as we go. Interesting. Mm -hmm. This is a concept, huh? Yeah, we can't just drop everything at a go. Because also, I mean, okay, so initially it was like, can we drop it around August? But then we don't know how elections will go. Mm -hmm. So that's also a big factor in setting a date. Yes. Yeah, and I don't want to say a date and then, oh, we had to change the release date. Da, 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 da. Ah, so no. from, from what I'm hearing, uh -huh. August the end, eh? <laughs> like everything. Later. So September, September maybe. September, maybe October. October. So I'm actually looking at October, but we'll see. Ah. Yeah. October, not too yeah, bad. That, that gives me enough time to, you know, really prep. Yes. Yeah, this album, I mean, I've been working on this for almost three years. Mm. So there's a lot of work that goes behind the scene. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that you've said, you know, the whole journey with co production and everything. Because the last time you, you were here, you told me that you'd uh, gotten some equipment. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And how's that journey been? Like, you know, connecting the mic to the Scarlet, to the laptop? Uh, that's easy stuff. Yeah. That's the easy part. Uh -huh. um, the hard stuff is now the instrumentation and the actual meat of production yeah. which I'm still learning and you know picking up but I've been co-producing my projects from mm. the first album so it's now just like becoming better at playing keys or yes. playing guitar but yeah can you play an instrument though I do I do play but just enough to write yes. not to perform uh -huh. yeah so I'm working on that skill because why I ask you that is um, mm -hmm. you know a lot of people say the same thing right it's just to help them with um, the writing process but what caught my attention yesterday on Twitter was something that was so relatable mm -hmm. it said that at some point we all downloaded FL Studio of course, from an illegal site banner <laughs> okay, you're like I want to be the biggest producer the biggest of rapper course. FL Studio. Yeah. What is it, what are you using for your production? Uh, for production, I mean, I'll, I'll go to Studio and they're, and they're using Logic. Oh. But to record in the house, I'll use FL because yes. it's the easiest. Um, the first album, actually, I did most of the production on FL, mm -hmm. the trial demo version. Yes. And then I send the producer the actual, the, they need to build the actual beat. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Still trying. You, still you've, growing. you've come such a long way. I think the first time I ever met you was actually in 2013. Vicky Yes. Yeah. That was such that was a classic. A long time. 20, oh my God, it's 2013 or 2012? 2013. That time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And you've come such, you know, full circle. So have you. Yeah, continuing to grow. Yeah. Man. Wow. It's a, yeah, we're, we're grateful. Let, let me ask you this. What is the, you know, you've had so many moments in, um, you know, in this career. We're talking about 13 years, right? Mm -hmm. But what was the one time that you felt the love, like, you know, this, this is different, different? Mm, so many times mm. I feel like like I said the highs are highs yeah. and then the lows are lows mm. the highs are crazy like at the Kunle Gold yeah that was ridiculous oh the, the show the show yes yes you know um, Conscience uh -huh. that was a ridiculous show uh -huh. and feeling that love and hearing like thousands of people still S sing vibing with you yes. you know it's still humbling it's still exciting mm. yeah all right, ladies and gentlemen, as you're listening to Trace of Fun Fast with the Hits, we are continuing to dissect everything that Fenner has brought us today. Now, you know, uh, me, I'm all about, you know, twisting, relax you, then I'm like, go back in. Okay. Now, project set to drop sometime October. Sometime yeah? September, this is sometime for all, August. This is, this is for all the blogs that are listening. <laughs> now, second thing. Give them the wrong date. August, <laughs> August 9th. August 9th. August 9th. Mm -hmm. Now, uh... Collaborations on the album, yes, definitely. Uh huh. Yeah, how many? Um, remember, Unleashed, I didn't have any features. Yes, I remember. Um, I think even the first album, maybe just one feature. This one, I think I have three solid features. Three, yeah, out of uh, out of something. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a guess. Mm -hmm. If I take a guess, are you gonna confirm how many songs yes. are on the album? I won't confirm the exact number, but I'll tell you if you're warm. Uh, 12. Warm. In fact, leave it at that. Warm. Really? Yeah. So 12 and three solid this. features. Yeah. I don't want to overdo this project. Yeah. Because first attention spans have gone down. Oh my God. And the, yeah. So I, I was able to put in 
a lot of content mm. into a very solid project. So yeah. like it, you won't get tired with a Chris Brown 50 track album, mm. but then you'll still leave feeling like yeah, those yeah, songs yeah, yeah, yeah. left you like, okay, mm. yeah, we put in work here. We put in, yeah. 100%. Mm. Now, I was having a conversation with Lensa last week and we were just, you know, realizing some of the things that we never, we forget at times to us, but it's something I always make a habit of, right? Mm -hmm. So who are some of the people in your journey? Because you, you, you get sent a lot of music, mm -hmm. you're in studios with different producers and all of that. Yeah. Who are some of the talents that I probably don't know about that are out here who are buzzing, like wow. they haven't gotten, you know, like that radio play, still in studio, but we should yeah. be on the lookout for. Um, so this year I did, uh, I was on tour with Tusker Next, I don't know if I'm allowed to yeah, say that. Yeah, yeah, you can say that, yeah. Um, and that's where I saw a lot of talent. Mm. So I think over the next few weeks, then you'll get to see the crop that comes up. Yes. Because they're really good artists, um, they're under mentorship now, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's any, I, you would tell me the new acts, you know, like, Man. you on radio, you know, there's, there's, you know, there's a song I had playing earlier, I'll ask you after the show, okay, it sounds so good, there's, what, what, what song was it, at what time, just before nine, around nine, and do the rapper, probably, yeah, 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 yeah. Malkit, uh, yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a dope that's jam. a very dope jam, it's mm. two minutes and three seconds, okay, very, very good one, now we're about to roll out in, uh, you know, uh, from the studio, of course, Joanne coming through to take care of it all the way up until one o'clock. I want to roll out with a song called Steam. Fena, where can people find uh, all of your music right now? How can they connect with you? Right. What's bubbling in the background? What's in the pipeline? Oh. Uh, first, kuna phenomenal styles, kuna drip to death. Ah, ah, okay. have to stay dripping, so yes. follow at Phenomenal Style, mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, a lot of new match will be coming soon. Yes. Um, but let's see now your hoodie. Mute it in a name. Mute it. Mute it. Mute it. Me, I, I don't have a problem. It's Actually, like in the pianos, I could hook up one of these days. Ah. <laughs> and uh, we can talk. Shout going out to Joanne. She's always rocking your mouth. I was just about to say, I want to shout out Joanne, man. Yeah. In fact, if I could take like five minutes on her show just to say hi. On, on no her, worries, on no mic. worries. Yeah, um, yeah. Fenagitu on all platforms. Mm -hmm. YouTube, please, please subscribe. The video is out. It's amazing. Yes. Um, Spotify, Boomplay, Apple Music. We out here. Namuki, take your mati kona pizza ya Fena. Take a picture of it. Make sure you tag her on it as well, always. Yeah, of, of course I have, I have some tricks up my sleeves with uh, that. So uh, there's a lot of projects coming out. All right, yeah. so make sure you stay on her case. Yes. Fena, always a pleasure to chop it up with you right here on Trace FM. You know we got love for you. So as you catch the sign, Peter Akotena. Ah, uh, to sign. Lonely in out. In out. Uh, we need to sign her picture again. We signed it. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we but, signed it. But yeah, we, we should probably start a thing where we sign 2020, 2020 21. That's, dope. That's, That's actually dope. interesting.